I'm going to answer a question that came in from one of my followers, uh, Mr. Danny Sparks, and he has a great question. Um, I do have some other videos about this question. Um, I will try to put those at the end of this video, um, and that way you can just keep right on playing to those two. But... The question today from Danny reads, Hey buddy, I have learned a lot from watching you on YouTube to try um, to follow you on a regular basis. Thank you. I appreciate that very much and all the other followers that do. That being said, my question is, can I run a 12 volt 5.5 GPM um, off of my pressure washing battery and then recharge at the end of the day? I have a pressure pro for gallon 4000 psi electric start i was going to switch to a 24 series marine battery to start the pressure washer and run the 12 volt systems thanks you have been been a great help already so this is a great question so yes we can run our 12 volt off of our battery i did it on all four of our trucks um, I've done it on a bunch of other trucks that I've probably I've done it on 10 or 12 of my builds. I um, I do like upgrading my battery to the marine battery versus the battery that comes with the pressure washer. And that is just because that little is just basically a lawn and garden battery. And it's not really designed to be ran down, charged back up, ran down, charged back up. Where a marine battery is designed to... Um, be ran down, charged back up, ran down, charged back up. Now, the other thing with that being said, Danny, is um, you don't really have to worry about charging it every night. Um, if you have an electric start on your pressure washer, it should have the rectifier on it, which will help charge that battery up. Now, over time, sometimes if you're using that pressure washer a lot, you may need to, you know, give it a boost. But, I mean, we never charge the batteries at night. We let our pressure washers run, and that would charge up the battery. And then we would just use our, our pumps and doing that. And then here's another option you can do is um, to keep that battery charged. Is you can buy a, um, a solar panel charger. Uh, make sure it's a trickle charger so it don't overcharge it. But that will also help. Um, that's actually what I have on the trailer build I did. Um, because I don't have a pressure, I, my pressure washer is just a pull start. And so I don't have the rectifier on there to keep it charged or it won't charge my battery. So what I did is, is I just got a solar panel stuck up on the top of it. And, or you can, um, DJ, I know he has just did it and, um, he had just mounted one right on top of his tank and it keeps his batteries charged, no problem. And he can keep right on running and that way you will be able to do that and just not have to worry about charging up and everything like that. Um, but that is a way that you can definitely do that and it will make it a lot um, a lot easier for you um, so you don't have to go charging it every night. Because um, then you don't, you also want to make sure you're using a trickle charger versus um, charging because you can actually overcharge them too and get them um, hot and then they don't want to work right either. So um, I, I have used the littler batteries until they die, um, but I do like that 24 series or even the 27 series. That way it's big and, you know, it's got a lot of battery storage. You know, you can run probably with ever, without charging up. Um, running that pump, I mean, I know some people that ran it a month before they ever charged it, you know. So that is some things that you can definitely look at doing, and that way it will do that. Again, I will put a playlist of videos of batteries and chargers and that kind of stuff, how I've done it, and right up here, and then you can watch those videos also.